Hey guys, just wanted to show two ways you can use ChatGPT on your phone, on iOS, using shortcuts. Uh, the main and first way is obviously using ChatGPT as it is right now, uh, which is basically just creating a quick shortcut with a URL, which opens a uh, show web view. Uh, what happens when you do it like this is it keeps you logged in basically, and you'll be able to use ChatGPT as if it was your Google Assistant uh, on your phone. It looks pretty native. Uh, it's just free, easy to use, and, and just very natively available. Obviously, you can open up all your old chats and just open them from there and be able to uh, edit them or continue the conversation with ChatGPT. Uh, you have your, obviously, your input here. And basically, what I'm trying to do here is duplicate the same thing. So let's go ahead and put in a prompt here. List five types of storm clouds. All right. Here we go. Gives you uh, a list very quickly. The only uh, gripe I have with the way this works on the phone is that it doesn't give me a copy uh, a copy button, right? Like when you get a cold block. So you constantly have to tell it, hey, give me a cold block so that I can uh, copy this and text it to somebody else, paste it somewhere else, or use it however I need to use it. If it's not just for reading, obviously. So that's one thing. So now you have to like say, hey, Give me uh, uh, this list in a cold block. But one thing I do notice compared to the one that I just put together is that this one is very descriptive. The AI is very um, helpful and solution oriented. Um, but I am noticing the differences between ChatGPT and um, using the API uh, on its own uh, in, in, in the answers it gives and as far as the accuracy of some of the items that it gives. So uh, apparently that's obviously due to the uh, settings in the back end. So now let's say I want to copy this. I would have to tell it, hey, uh, please add this to a cold block or I would have to select all of this and try to copy it, which can be a little uncomfortable sometimes because, you know, it just doesn't work or you click, try to click select all and it just doesn't work. So when you click, <clears throat> or when you tell it to add it to cold block, you see you get this nice uh, layout with the copy code uh, button on the top, which allows you to just click quickly, just say click copy, and it adds it to your clipboard, and now you can go ahead and text it, add it to a blog post, add it to whatever you need uh, anywhere else, right? And as you can see here, I can copy and paste there, I can copy and paste anywhere. So now let's go ahead and open up the one using the API. So here you can see we have a new chat, continue chat, delete old chats, or quit. So let's go ahead and start a new one, and same prompt. All right, create five, a list of five storm clouds. All right. And as you can see, obviously, I don't have the animations, but it is fairly quickly. It gives me my list right away. So it's just going to give me a list without any description. So obviously, you see the differences right there. I mean, this is what I was asking for. This is what I was expecting originally. It is nice to get additional details, but... Maybe I don't want additional details, so it's, it's, it's a matter of preference and what you want. So let's go ahead and respond and say, hey, please expand on this list. Let's see. All right, let's see. We have a description. All right, and let's see what we get. The response should be fairly similar. Um, Pretty much the same. So let's see. And obviously not having the active window constantly showing you uh, is a drawback, but there are benefits to doing it this way, which is the manipulation factor that you get uh, straight from the response from the API. So as you can see here, the response looks pretty similar, pretty much the same. Uh, but now I can go ahead and keep adding to this. Uh, to these responses and I can, and you know, tell it, hey, put this in HTML, uh, copy it here, send it over here, because it is within uh, shortcuts. Now, actually natively on my phone, because of the API response, I can go ahead and tell it to do whatever I want, format the data, format the values in any way uh, that I need to, to make sure it does uh, what I want. So let's see, uh, let's go ahead and open it up again, continue chat. And let's go ahead and select the one, the top one, obviously, that's the one. And I do have it renaming the file. Uh, it's obviously not perfect yet. I kind of trying to get it to name it no more than three letters, three words. Uh, here's the prop that I have it set to right now. And obviously, I don't have to show this. I kind of want to see it because I want to see 
what my current prompt is or my last prompt was. Obviously, if I'm going to continue a conversation, um, but I don't have to show everything. It's just how I have it set as I'm building this. Uh, but let's go ahead and say, uh, please expand the list or add five more clouds. Let's see what it does. All right, and here's the response. And I can already see that it stopped at eight. So obviously, it uh, that's a token issue. So it's just a matter of setting it to make sure it, it never has issues like this because um, of the token count and all that stuff. So let's double check, make sure it only did put eight together. I'm pretty sure it only did. We'll check the file as well. Yep, so only eight. And the file as well. I do local storage instead of just like a regular variable. So I store it to a file that way I have a copy of it. And as you can see, again, um, it's there. So it, I, and, and as you can see there, the, the file name is Tornado, but it, it made it into a list instead of just tornadoes, which would have been just fine by itself. But as you can see, guys, that's pretty much it. Uh, again, the benefit of being able to do this like this is that you're able to manipulate the data a little bit better. A little bit easier and you can make it do whatever you want so if you are putting together html javascript python whatever uh, you'll be able to manipulate that data in multiple ways in any way just because you are controlling it directly from the api right on your mobile device ipad or mac which is really where i use it uh, so i create the shortcuts and then i go ahead and just put it on my mac and run it on shortcuts on the mac which works just awesome anyway guys if you have any questions leave them below and i'll see you next time